Hello Cougars fans, I'm here with head men's basketball coach Rob Krasinski after the 78-61 loss to William Patterson. Coach, another tough one, got down and just couldn't come back. Yeah, uh, as we were just saying, Rob, I mean, in the first half, uh, I, I thought we really fought and scrapped and, and hung in there. Um, defensively, we, 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 uh, we got what we kind of wanted in terms of game plan defensively, and we were able to turn them over 11 times. We go 1 of 15 from beyond the arc. Um, I really got yeah, with the film, but I really felt like we had some really good uncontested ones that we just didn't knock down. And, you know, I've talked in the past, like you got it. For us to win, you got to make shots from beyond the arc. And then I think we missed, uh, I think our guys said we missed six um, layups, six shots at the rim, uh, some on the same possession, but still some points left out there for us. And still it's only a six point game at the half. So we were very positive in terms of talking to them and, and felt that we we're going to make some threes. Um, and we just couldn't, we, we just didn't score it enough. And then it really just stresses you defensively. Um, and when they, when, when we couldn't score in the second half and they stretched it out a little bit, I know we made a couple there late, but when they stretched it out and it gets us out of what we want to do and what we're pretty good at defensively, uh, especially with some of the personnel we had out there. So when we had to go man and, and, and got stretched a little bit and tried to do some things just to, you know, try to change it up and get them out of rhythm a little bit. Um, it's just hard. It's really hard on us. Coach, obviously a tough season overall, but you know, compared to last season, it's definitely a step up, step in the right direction. Um, like, what did you learn from this season overall, and what can you take into next season? No, no sure. Uh, you know, there wasn't uh, wasn't a whole lot of other directions to go other than up after last year. But this group has really hung in there. Um, they've listened. They're coachable. They've hung in. Uh, obviously, yes, this year, and we've talked enough, we've been in um, a ton of games. And when we put ourselves in position to win at least four games um, where we had shots with under a minute to, to win games in the end, Jack. So um, we certainly put ourselves in those positions. We talk about it all the time. you got to make winning plays for 40 minutes and, and not just you know try to hang in there and make winning plays in the last two. Uh, that was a big theme going into the Stockton game on Saturday, uh, on both sides of the ball, making winning plays. Um, and, and I thought we did that. One of the differences between the Stockton game and tonight, uh, we really felt as a coaching staff, like in the Stockton game, we had multiple, multiple possessions offensively where five guys touched the ball and we changed sides of the floor uh, on multiple occasions. So um, just as kind of the, the Warriors and the Spurs and some of the really good teams talk, like the ball has energy and the ball energizes you. And when guys are getting touches and the ball's popping, you're getting a lot more in rhythm um, from beyond the arc and with your shooting. So uh, it's something that we work at every day. And like today, we got, felt like we got good looks, but we got them quicker. Um, we got them a little bit earlier uh, after not as many maybe touches. Um, so I don't know if that, you know, that affects us maybe a little bit, but we kind of felt like it did. Um, the consistency level, you know, asking about going into next year. So, look, we had some guys that really have improved uh, over the course of time, over three years. Uh, some guys that have improved in their first year over just these last couple months. Uh, but can we get to a level now where we're going to do things and play the game the right way and be productive on a consistent basis? And you're, uh, you're, you're kind of, quote, unquote, the bell curve of each player, um, you know, gets a little bit more towards that mean average where you're not getting guys that can go out and get you maybe 27 one night, but, you know, now the next night you're getting seven. Or you can go out and put together a game where you go six assists to one turnover, and then the next night you're flipping it, you know. So um, the, uh, individually for our guys, just working for that consistency where they can bring a consistent game on, on a nightly basis. Um, and other than that, we'll just we'll get back to the grind. We get a, a week's worth of practice with these guys next week individually. So we'll take advantage of that and, and get back out on the court and, and keep working. All right, Coach, I appreciate talking to you all season. Good luck in the off season. Good luck next season. And look forward to talking to you next season. Thanks, man. That is head men's basketball coach Rob Krasinski after the 78-61 loss to William Patterson.